Uh, we're at a good spot right now. Um, we've been each week getting a little better, and so as the weeks as the weeks have progressed, um, we're, we're on the pattern that I wanted to be on. So it's been good. Um, and so, you know, coming into sectional tournament, um, you know, we we beat Princeton at all the times we've played them. Uh, same with Oak Hill, but then Woodrow we split with them. This year we beat them at home. They beat us at third place. So, you know, we'll be at a neutral site. So. Uh, it should be fun, but you know our focus right now is all on Princeton. That's that's the first first opponent we have um, tomorrow night, um, and so uh, that that's where all our focus is at practice today. Did you come into the season with the expectations that uh, you'd get further than you're at right now? I mean, did you think this was a state tournament type thing? Um, if I'm being honest, no. Uh, we and a few of them and I had that conversation. You know, we were wondering where the season was going to go. Um, but about two to three weeks into, into the actual uh, game part of the season, we realized uh, this team has a chance to make some noise. And so um, they, they increased a lot faster than I expected them to. And so uh, you know, right now it's, it's up to them. You know, it's on their shoulders whether they make a run or not. And so um, that, that's a good feeling to have because we didn't think it was going to be like that coming into the season. And so with that being said, um, you know, they have every shot in the world to make a run. Um, let's talk about your personnel. Obviously, your daughter Dia, one of the standout players, has set a lot of records. Um, talk about beginning with her and uh, the personnel on the team. Yeah, you know we got uh, back row. We got Dia, and uh, she she just set the digs record, um, which which is pretty pretty cool individual accomplishment. But the good thing is with this team, the individual accomplishments don't mean as much um, to these girls as the team accomplishments, and so that's what they're focused on. But you got Dia in the back row, and you know. She, she could lead any back row uh, into a good stand with you. But then um, in left back, we got Josie Irvin. She's our only senior. Um, and, and she's had a very, um, very good year. And so uh, that, that's been a good thing. And then the other DS we have is Peyton Barker. And uh, Peyton's our right back. And uh, Pey Peyton's one of those team players that, that you love to have. Um, so um, that, that's a great thing uh, for your team because she's, she's going to, cheer on no matter what's going on. Like she, she's that ultimate team player. But then uh, you go to our front row and you got outside, you got Alexis Stack. Um, and Alexis is just a sophomore. Um, but if anybody's seen her play, um, she's an athletic outside hitter. Um, she, she can get up and uh, she's gonna bring a lot of power with it. And so Alexis plays all the way around for us. Um, she also plays back row. But then you got Molly Pack, which is another sophomore um, on the outside. And so both our outside hitters are just sophomores. And uh, they, Molly, uh, just like Alex, has been able to really step up and uh, ha have a really good season on the outside for us. And then in the middle, uh, Gracie Gum was uh, one of our returning starters from last year with Dia. And Gracie uh, has, you know, met the expectations and, and beyond of what we had for her this year. And so Gracie's able to really control the middle for us. Now, the other middle is a freshman. Um, we kind of threw her into the wolves at the beginning of the season. Uh, McKenna McClure, a lot of people remember her sister, Haley McClure, uh, that played here, played volleyball and basketball here. But uh, McKenna uh, could really uh, – she, she's going to be just as athletic as her sister was. And so she uses that athleticism to her advantage, and that's what we need her to do. And then on the right side, uh, we have Jenna Groves, which is another sophomore, um, and uh, Jenna controls that right side spot for us. And then the other right side we have, which plays all the way around, is Haley Irvin, which is Josie's little sister. Um, she's a sophomore. And Haley plays all the way around, set, setting a five-one for us. And she, she had never set before until this year, and we kind of threw her into it. And she's done a fabulous job with it. What uh, you coached, obviously, Chad, your son, at James Monroe. Now you're coaching D. You've been her coach the whole time. What's the dynamic between uh, father and <laughs> athlete, like at, in, in sport like volleyball? You know, the good thing is, is uh, I try to anyway. I'm not gonna say I always do, but. I try to separate coach and dad um, because, uh, you know, coaching on the court, I, I don't want to take that home with us. Whether it was a bad day, good day, whatever it was, I, I want to be, I want to be dad at home more than I more than I am coach. And so, when we leave the gym, uh, you know, we we travel in the same vehicle together. So when we leave the gym, uh, we try to keep it dad and daughter, not uh, coach and daughter. But I'll be honest, you know, on the court, it's a blast. Um, I, I love being able to coach my daughter and. And to see the success that she's having is even better. Um, you told me before that you played some volleyball coming up, and kind of why you got into coaching this sport here. Um, how are you proud that you followed, kind of followed your footsteps a little bit 
you know, like a lot of sons and fathers yeah. in basketball, she kind of followed your uh, run at being a volleyball. Yeah, player. you know, uh, when Shab was born, that was my first year coaching. And, and the coach that used to coach here at East is the one I got into playing doubles with a lot. And so uh, he, he got me into this the year Shab was born. And, and I just kind of st stuck with it. Um, I was assistant coach for three years, and then I guess this is like 17 years as a head coach. And, you know, so when Dia was born, you know, she was kind of uh, stuck with being in the gym with me all the time. Um, <laughs> and so um, she's, she's been touching the volleyball ever since she could, she could hold one. And so, um, you know, th there's a plus to that. Um, she sees the dynamics of volleyball on the inside and out of it and understands the game. And, you know, her, her IQ for it because of that is very high. Is that what makes her the player she is? I mean, and a record setter now, but you can talk about some of those records too, but is that what makes her? Yeah, player, you know, uh, all the, you know, the top two players in digs that, that she just passed this past weekend is Abby Anderson and Abby Brown. And both of them went on to play at the college level. Um, and what set them apart was their volleyball IQ also. Um, you know, they, they both had the skill too, just like Dia does. Dia's got the skill. Um, but if you have the skill and not the IQ, um, you know, it's the reading of the game. It, it's only going to take you so far. And Dia, just like those other two, is able to really um, read the game uh, before it happens. And so, you know, we talk about it in basketball sometimes where the game slows down to certain players. Um, that's what I feel like it is with Dia. I feel like she's, you know, the game has slowed down for her where she's able um, to read it before other people are. And so you would you obviously you'd like this team to make it to the state tournament now that you they're ahead of where you thought they were. Yes. You think that's more of a goal at this point now that you you can do that, especially the fact you split with with Woodrow. Yes. I mean, it's one hundred percent goal. Um, and I'm, like I said at the beginning of the season, I didn't think I, I would say that, um, but it's one hundred percent a goal now. But just because they know they can um, now, does it mean it'll happen? No. I mean you got to earn everything you do, and so. Um, but it's it's definitely a goal with the team. We've talked about it um, the, the past couple of weeks. And so the goal right now is to try to win sectionals. Um, I, I don't want them to look too far past that. And so because, uh, you know, you look too far past that, a lot of things can happen. And so that's why today at practice, we're, you know, we've got to focus on Princeton and Woodrow um, just in case um, we win the first one. You know, we're going to have to play a second game tomorrow night. So um, you kind of have to – split your practice and, and, and play a little bit of both. Um, but the main focus is Princeton right now. All right, Matt, I appreciate it. Thank you, Dave. Always nice.